Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Fight fans all over the world, what's going on? It's your boy Chris from BWC, and you're now boxing with Chris. You know, if, you're, if it's your first time here, you got to hit that like button, hit that hit subscribe, that subscribe button, button, tune, tune into, into the, the work. work. So we know after his successful defense, his third defense of his undisputed championship at 168 pounds, which is also the record we know Canelo Alvarez, who now stands at 60 wins, two losses, two draws. Is now we know definitely by his PBC deal he won't be going into the ring until May of 2024, and right now people are saying you know he's scared of Terence Crawford he won't fight Terence Crawford, but believe it or not it's Canelo doesn't get anything not definitely and I want to say this first definitely not diminishing Terence Crawford hell of a fighter pound for pound number one right now. But Canelo is in a lose-lose situation. Think about it. Terrence Crawford moves up to fight him. He was too small. They jumped up three weight classes. Terrence Crawford has all the wins to gain, you know, moving up three weight classes to win. I don't think it's, it's just a duck. It's just he won't get the credit. What credit will he get from knocking out a welterweight, no matter the greatness of Terrence Crawford, no matter what happens? He has... There's, you know, some fights we say, oh, low risk, high reward, or high risk, low reward, but he just doesn't get anything. Obviously, we, on the record, it looks good, but it just doesn't look good. I don't believe he's ducking, other than a financial gain, obviously, because it would be a mega fight. It will sell out, especially if you promote this fight the way we promoted Char Charlo and Canelo, where it's undisputed versus undisputed, then it would be very great. But we know that's why Terrence Crawford hasn't officially fought or moved up to 154 because I feel it looks better him jumping up three weight classes than him moving up two. I don't believe he's ducking Terrence Crawford. Like I said, hell of a fighter, the best fighter in the game right now. But it's just one of those fights that can't. I don't think can happen. Can it happen? Maybe. But I'm not. I wouldn't be looking forward to this fight because of the disadvantages both men are in. We know Terrence Crawford has the style. If Terrence Crawford was a natural 160 pounder, 168 pounder, then he definitely could beat Canelo due to the fact that he can box. He has power in both hands. He's slick. He gets on. He know he's got the full package. But due to the fact that he's just three divisions under, I think the weight will be too much. For Terrence Crawford, not saying he gets knocked out or anything, but it just it's a big disadvantage for both fighters. And you know, in the contract books and the in the record book 10 years from now, when we don't look at the weight classes, we're gonna look, which is gonna it looks good on the record, but hindsight is 2020 when you break everything down. I don't think Crawford Crawford wants to fight as he should, he should test himself. He just wants to keep being great. Can you blame him? But there's limits to everything. We know Canelo tried to be great, jumping up in weight class, even though it was only one. But Canelo also has jumped up to weight classes before. We see that that doesn't happen in the everyday. Now jumping up three weight classes is not the impossible, but it's definitely something that is will never be seen in years to come. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Is Canelo ducking Crawford? Should this fight even happen? Should this fight even be entertained? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. It's your boy Chris from BWC. You know what to do. Keep it A more than 92. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.